What's up, citizens? John here from the Kilobits, and today we are playing Utopia 9, a volatile vacation. And this is from the guys over at Whalegun, and it's a little 3D twin stick shooter with some definite roguelite ish elements. Uh, we'll jump into it straight away, and I can show you what's going on. Basically, the premise is we are a intergalactic tourist who's brought their ticket to this fantastic location of Utopia. Although, this is no Utopia you really want to, is it? There you go. Look up there. Well, welcome to Utopia. So yes, as I say, it's a twin stick shooter. Um, you can use gamepad. I'm currently using keyboard and mouse because the, the shooting is a bit more precise with mouse, but it's WASDA to control. Primary attack on the left mouse button, and if my ship hadn't crashed all over it. Right is our melee, which is, well, our suitcase. We can swap these out if we look, if we hit T, it just swap those around. The roguelike element to it is we do actually pick up weapons along the way, very much like um, Nuclear Throne, and we can actually have like a, a second slot for a different loadout. And we can kind of swap stuff out individually with Q and E. There you go, if you're looking in the top left hand corner. But yeah, the, the, the developers said they were they were big fans of um, Nuclear Throne, and you can see that influence. Also stuff like FTL, which you see that influence when you get into like the the map screen, as it were. Let's just kite these guys around. Oh, they're all lining up for me. Pity I haven't got a laser weapon, but maybe we'll pick one of those up. You'll see what the the weapon pickups are like uh, shortly. Let's see if we can get any health out of these green crates. No, pistol bullets. More bullets. More bullets. And more bullets. No health. Okay, right, fair enough. We can stun these guys if we shoot them. Obviously, hitting them with a suitcase as well probably stun them a little. Uh, Uh, it's fairly easy to dodge the bullets if you're any good at stuff like binding buys and nuclear throw and things like that. But I'm crap, so this is why I'm suffering. Oh, we killed this guy out, right? Uh, nobody else about, but we can now go and have a look what's in the crate. Hmm. And we've got a, a shell gun. Now, I do actually like the shell gun. It's basically, well, it's a shotgun. So we've got better spread but that is how the the weapons are handled there is actually a kind of leveling mechanic oh well first this is the FTL influence I was talking about obviously we can navigate we've got like these like different sectors to get up to the end unreachable um, and each have their kind of own perks I suppose so Contains melee weapons, contains bullet weapons, shell weapons. Well, we just picked up a shotgun, so we might as well try and aim for the shell weapons. And after this kind of first tutorial level, all these levels are kind of procedurally generated. So the the the, the placement of the buildings and the enemies, and the crates, and all that kind of stuff is all kind of random. Oh. Lots of guys. Let's try and avoid. Oh. Oh, there we go, we dinged. There we go. There's... There we go. Uh, come on, come on, come on. But we'll, we'll upgrade in a second once we've taken care of the business here. Come on, where are you going? Where are you going? We just need him close to the... There we go, boom! Boom goes the dynamite. Uh, no. We're down to six health. This, uh, well, I, I think we'll probably actually be showing you ha what happens when you die sooner than I expected. Uh, oh, low ammo. We could do with some ammo. Come on, come on. Stop running away. We'll, we'll switch weapons. Stop moving. There we go. Uh, 
we go. Just die already. There we go. Okay, now we, I'll show you what happens when you collect the, the little pink blobby things. That's basically our Soylent Pink. And we use that to level up our mutations. And this again is the nuclear throne aspect, I suppose. Basically, you get to pick a random perk along these kind of three tracks. Physical utility and mastery. Uh, so this time around, we could have fast fingers, 25% faster weapons, extra jointed, you move faster, or energy weapons can be charged up to make them more powerful. Um, well, we haven't got any we energy weapons, so that's pointless at the moment. So I think we'll go for a bit more speed so we can dodge a bit better. And basically, we just keep leveling up that way. But as I said, we're going to die very soon. Maybe we can find some health in a building. Oh, no. Let's see if we can. I've got a feeling we're going to die. Oh, especially to a shotgun guy. They got a lot of armor on them. There we go. Okay. Thankfully, we're a bit quicker now. Let's see if we can. Those barrels are really close. I don't want to get too close. And there we go. Uh, so just line up there and we can shoot you. I'm going to run out of bullets though soon. Could really do with some more ammo. There we go. Oh, it's almost as if it heard me. Trying to avoid the barrels just because I don't want to get blown up by them. There we go. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. And this is what happens when you die. Basically, whoever kills you comes and nicks all your stuff and they mutate. So now on this level, we have a boss to fight if we want to get back our gear. So that is where the kind of the roguelike element comes in. Roguelike, roguelike, what, however you want to put it. So if we restart now, basically tourist number two crashes in and as we can see over here our last ship is about so there is that whole kind of permadeath thing going on but the levels almost kind of persist so you can just see how many times you fail uh, which I, I think is a cute little aspect to it obviously these guys are up here straight away now as well so it's not as if we have to go to them they're all up here look at them all all just lining up to be shot Try and get, avoid not getting hit by the bullets. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I, I'm actually quite digging this. Um, it's currently an early access. I think it's like nine quid if you're here in the UK. It's about twelve dollars, twelve euros, uh, whether you're in, you're in the states or Australia or Europe or whatever. But it's not bad little game for being in early access I mean I wouldn't say it's really polished I mean it it, it, it functions great it it doesn't feel that smooth to me I, I mean I, I fully admit that could just be my PC which is getting a bit ropey these days now or it could be you know that kind of unity influence it it, it, it can be a little janky at times but I mean this is really nicely put together I, I am kind of digging it uh, there we go yeah, you die. We're just one-off upgrading as well. So what's in the weapons crate this time? A cooking glove. Okay, no idea what that is. So we're all melee now. Okay, well I'm going to switch that out because I do actually want some range on this. So, yeah, I, I do think this one is actually worth checking out. As I say, it's early access. It actually came out into early access November last year. But I only kind of heard about it when the, the devs sent us a, a key literally last week. So it, it was one of those that kind of passed me by, which is a real shame because it, it, I, I do think it has promise. They seem to be doing kind of regular updates to it. I think the last one was maybe a week ago or something like that. I think they did one as part of the Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year. Let's avoid the... Oh, no. Explosives. Yeah, we're going to stay clear of um, it's Mr... Uh, missile guy here. Oh no, he's got lots of friends with him. 
Let's see if we can track those towards the explosions. Oh, they're not going to die from this guy's explosions. I think we're just going to have to stun lock him. Oh no, state were clear. Yeah. Oh, we dinged. We dinged. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade straight away. Um, eagle eyes, drop ammo. Could that could be helpful? Sharp weapons. Your melee deflects enemy projectiles. Mm, well, we got two melee weapons, so that that could be handy. Uh, but I think we'll go for the extra ammo. So there we go. And uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, we got the ammo, so we're all good now. Now let's see if we can go and find whoever killed us. Um, you can actually see them on the map occasionally if we get far enough around. Again, the roguelike element of, you know, the maps are randomly generated. Let's see if we can... Oh, health's not too bad. I've seen worse. I think I've... The first time I did this, um, I, I was wandering around this area pretty much with just like 6% health or something for ages. That's a big armor dude so that he's going to have the explosives on him isn't he? Oh, the low health and low ammo again. How much ammo have we got? We've got five shots. I think we're going to have to try and duck into a building if we can find one. Uh, where's the buildings? Oh, uh, let's duck in here. There we go. There we go. Right, so we've got one guy, we've got two bullets. Okay, we're going to have to swap out to the, the, the gloves and I think we're just going to have to get in there and hit him. Has he got a big mallet? Okay, we really need ammo. There we go. Actually, the two melee weapons are quite good. As long as you can get in there, uh, we are going to need health... A rocket launch. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna dump the the suitcase and swap it for the rocket launcher. And uh, see, actually, we'll swap those. No, no, I want that. I just wanted to swap my loadout. Go on. There we go. No. Uh, smack those. We're we gonna get any ammo or health out of them. Come on. Come on. There's gotta be something in there. No, absolutely bugger all. Okay. Oh well. Now we have a rocket launcher. Ho ho ho. So, yeah, let's do this. Now there's gonna be dudes straight outside the door as soon as we go out. Oh, as I said, in the the um, mini map in the bottom corner, you can see a little pink blob. That is the the boss we we have to fight, but let's see if we can do this. Uh, that explosion go off. <laughs> Down to 41 health. Okay, I think we're... You know what? I, I think I am going to go all melee. So let's swap to that. And swap to that. There we go. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Let's see how this fares. Actually, this is not bad. If we had more health, it'd be better. We're down to 11 health. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. This is where that kind of reflecting projectiles... Oh, look, there's dead tourist one. Oh, and we died. So there you go, that was a quick look at Utopia 9 Volatile Vacation. I do think it's a cool little one worth keeping an eye on. He now has my cooking glove and a rocket launcher. Yeah, I'm not going that way anytime soon. That's the right of Jack Putnam. Um, and I managed to last six hours, well, six, six minutes anyway. Uh, so yes, this is Utopia 9. As I say, currently in early access, you pick it up on Steam. I'll leave links in the description below so you can find out more details for yourself. If you like the video, obviously like the video. It does help us out. And if you if you have anything to say, why not uh, let us know in the comments below. 
or you can get in touch with us on all the social medias at the Killbits. My mighty suitcase will take care of all these guys. Oh, oh health. Oh, no. Don't hit me in the back of the head with a suitcase. That's rude. Come on. There we go. I'll just shoot these guys. There we go. Hit him. There we go. Yeah. So, yes, th this is Utopia 9. I've been John from the Kilobits. If you want to get in touch, as I say, Twitter, Facebook, any anywhere, just look for us at, at the Kilobits. And if you want to help us out, you know, carry on creating content for you guys, why not head over to Patreon? And you can maybe drop us a dollar, help us um, with our um, ex luggage expenses. You know, it, 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 it's, it's difficult getting your luggage back from the, uh, these foreign trips. Uh, no, come on, go away, go away. No, just hit these guys. There we go. Uh, yeah, if you want to head over to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the kilobits, you can maybe chuck us a dollar and help us out that way. Uh, or if you if you don't have a dollar to spend, um, obviously sharing the video, liking the video, all that kind of stuff really helps us out. I'm avoiding this direction. I'm going to go for the shotgun shells. There we go. All right. So once again, I've been John. This has been Utopia Nine, and I will catch you guys later. All right. Bye.